Hey everyone, C Dub here, and I just got finished watching Game of Thrones episode 5. And I know there's some strong opinions going out there, and I'm not really here to critique it. I'm just gonna say how I would have done Daenerys' heel turn. So, let's get into it. So, how I would have done it is instead of having Varys tell Tyrion that I hope I'm wrong and I hope that this is the right decision. I would have had him say that to Daenerys and I mean I still would have had to Tyrion um, betray him and do all that stuff I still would have had all that happen but like I said for him I would have had him say I hope I'm wrong about questioning you to Daenerys and Daenerys would say you will be wrong and then we get into the King's Landing part okay for the King's Landing part Cersei lets all the people in or as much people as she can in and there's going to be a huge standoff, kind of like how it was before. But this standoff, the bell this time will not ring. For me, Daenerys will be sitting the same way on the edge of King's Landing, waiting for the surrender. And this time the bell does not come and Cersei just keeps edging her on. And she mumbles to herself, don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. And she really, you really see the internal struggle. She doesn't just go off and start burning King's Landing and then gets to Cersei. No, we're not gonna do that. She has a very internal struggle about it. Eventually, she flies over to Cersei. She does not burn any of the King's Landing area, except for the Red Keep. She just goes off to the Red Keep and she still has not burned anyone yet. She just flies over to Cersei, maybe knocks over a building or two and tells Cersei to surrender. The dragon is staring right at her and Cersei's eyes are up and down and she refuses to surrender to Daenerys. Knowing that Cersei will not surrender, she eventually turns her attention to the people of King's Landing, yelling at them to evacuate and leave the Red Keep. And the people of King's Landing do not do that. And the reason they don't do that is because yes, Cersei has been just as bad and has been really, really a bitch to them. She still at the end of the day is trying to protect them or at least they think that and there's this person with a dragon now telling them to evacuate now they don't do nothing crazy like those stuff at the dragon this that or the other but they do not leave and Cersei is also in their air saying she's the one trying to make this a dangerous place it was peaceful before she came here pretty much just trying to trick them and Daenerys begs them begs the people of King's Landing to leave and they do not do it they start to boo her and go against Daenerys they don't throw anything or something like that because I mean people aren't that stupid they're not gonna throw stuff at a dragon but they do eventually listen to Cersei and you then see the internal conflict of Daenerys she's tried everything she's lost so much and they still will not listen to her so the people outside of the Red Keep they'll be spared but eventually she just loses it and she says their cars and she burns the people in the Red Keep and goes after the people in the Red Keep not the people outside the people outside will actually be spared and that will set us up for um, set us up for the next episode but for this she's going to just take out all the people in the red keep because they had their chance they wouldn't surrender they listened to cersei at the end of the day and she did everything she could to try and get the people to change their mind and they just wouldn't do it cersei refused to surrender she's tried everything and at this point she's lost so much she lost her best friend she lost this she lost damn near half an army to the Night King and now you're going to start to see people burning and stuff like that. Before she turns her attention there though she is going to go after Cersei first but someone's going to push her down I don't know who could be the mountain could be someone else they push her out the way and she gets spared so the other person who pushes her out the way dies but Cersei lives she runs down into the chamber or wherever that underground layer is and she meets Jamie. and in this one of course the tunnel is not buried underneath yet because there hasn't been that much destruction so they still have a clear way to get out but Jamie questions her and says what happened and Cersei tells Jamie the truth thinking that of course Jamie's just gonna listen to her and this time that does not happen once Jamie finds out that she was willing to sacrifice everyone for her ego and her pride Jamie then turns his sword on her and kills her. And no, Euron Greyjoy does not get in the way in this one, in my one at least. So yes, Jamie is actually the one who kills Cersei and he brings Cersei's dead body up to Daenerys. 
after Daenerys, of course, has destroyed the Red Keep. And of course, Daenerys feels awful about it because this is not the plan. And this sets us up for episode six, where we can see the results of this and see how she deals with this. And we can keep going on with her heel turn, possibly, or even maybe going back to the face turn or whatever. But that's how I would have did it personally. Now, I don't know if people agree with my take, but that's how I might have did it. Um, there is some, I know, controversy of how they did it, but this is just my take. That's how I would have turned her heel. And there's another way I would go in episode six, but I'm gonna see if you guys like this one. Let me know. And yes, this is Seed Up. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.